Some bread and the right mixture of cheeses melted in white wine and a touch of garlic. In one of the many restaurants in the Fribourg village of La Gruyère, tourists and locals savour the most successful version of the Swiss fondue, the moitié moitié, half Gruyère and half Vacherin. Here they can even watch how the cheese is made. Here we reproduce the traditional work that's done in the mountains, where the milk is transformed into cheese directly at the chalet. I did that when I was a young chalet boy. You see? This is cheese I made yesterday. I'm going to take it to the cellar, where it'll stay for four months, and where I rub it with salt and let it mature. In four months, we'll mix this Vacherin cheese with the Gruyère to make half-half fondue. The fondue was once a milk soup with vegetables. To be able to let the herds graze on the pastures, the Alpine farmers had to pay the landlord with the cheese they made. But they kept some for themselves and put it in the cellar for the winter. They used to mix that cheese with milk to make a soup. Later the mercenaries, the soldiers who went to fight in wars abroad, replaced the milk with white wine. Whether this is true or not, the fondue is very dear to the Swiss, who consider it their national dish. As for adding wine, the Greek poet Homer had already mentioned a similar preparation with wine and cheese, but it's in the Alps that the dish made its name. It's an Alpine dish, because you can also find it in Italy and France. Bread, soup, cheese, this was the diet in poor regions. I'm sure it already existed when Caesar came to Switzerland. He was very impressed by the Helvetians. He described them as brave and combative. A very different image from that of today's peace-loving Swiss, more often associated with banking and neutrality, and of course with chocolate and cheese. You know, the, the stirring of the fondue has to be a certain way, I think, until it congeals almost, if you don't have the right amount of cornstarch and, and such. But. We actually had fondue just last weekend, so we, we thought, should we have fondue again? Okay. <laughs> and to think now that even the direction in which the fondue was supposed to be stirred was a matter of dispute among the bishops in the Middle Ages. To the right, they decided, like the planet's orbit. Thank God we don't take our fondue as seriously anymore. <laughs>